Good morning and welcome back to the Modern Dodo YouTube channel. So as you can see behind me, change of scenery. Um, I'm on the road, which is gonna make today a lot more difficult. I don't have any of my normal resources. That means barking dogs and a never ending supply of espresso. And it's also a little bit challenging in terms of time as to when I'm gonna be able to produce and post because it is Selection Sunday and I'm shooting this early in the morning, but probably by the time I post it, and just uh, based on the constraints that I've got ahead of me and I'm facing, um, a lot of the matchups will be determined, but they'll be on my website as TBD. And unfortunately, I won't be able to talk about some of the NCAA hoops matchups because again, when I'm shooting and producing this, they've yet to be determined. It's actually about seven hours before Selection Sunday. And if I'm being completely honest, yes, I'm nervous because I'm a Michigan State guy. We had, let's see, Georgetown and Oregon State uh, win on Saturday. They won their conference finals and their championships. So that's two more teams that are in the tournament. Today, uh, it's going to be Cincinnati. If they win, that's another team that would normally be out of the tournament, pushing teams on the bubble out while they claim their place. So the nerves are certainly there. I think Michigan State's going to be in, but I'd much rather it be one of those seasons where we're a high seed and we don't have to worry about this sort of stuff. So we'll see what happens. I'm also nervous because uh, we're just two hours away from kickoff of the North London Derby. So that's all to say that uh, I'm dealing with a shortage of resources and an abundance of nerves. Let's see if we can pull this off today as we look at the week ahead. I will also remind everybody that was so much on the line with the NCAA tournament, I'll be updating my website. So the full schedule along with channel listing of the biggest games are gonna be on my website www.themoderndodo.com. I almost always get that updated by 7 a.m. the day of, if not sooner. This week, I'll try to push that to sooner. And then again, early in the morning, usually by you know, 5.30, 6 a.m., I post through Instagram, uh, as well as Twitter and Facebook, my Modern Dodo account. So there will be an abundance of resources to get these schedules out to you, even if they're a little bit short today. As we look into Monday, um, Liverpool v Wolves, that's gonna be the thing to start things off. It's a Premier League matchup and it's at 4 p.m. At 8 p.m., the Canadians and the Jets, that should be a good game. Both those teams are playing really well this season. The Canadians went through a little bit of a rebuild. They're bouncing back. For this week, as I was composing the schedule, the NHL was a little bit weak later in the week. Now, we all know as sports fans, that's gonna be made up for us with the abundance of NCAA basketball to watch. So it's not like we won't have things to watch, but if you wanna get your hockey fix, I recommend getting it in early this week and then switching over to basketball later in the week. At 10.30, the Lakers and the Warriors tip off on ESPN. Obviously, LeBron, um, Seth Curry, we saw what he did during All-Star Weekend. That's a great matchup. It sort of speaks for itself, so I don't need to cover that too, too much. On Tuesday, Champions League action returns. Now, um, it is the round of 16, so you know, to be too, too critical is a little bit unfair because there's still a great chance for this tournament to heat up. But last week, the matchups weren't like something that was really, ooh, I've got to see this, primarily because PSG sort of ran away with things in the first leg uh, against Barcelona, things of that nature. We faced a little bit of that, if I'm being honest, this week as well. The problem is, is that the teams that are now at home, and of course, due to travel restrictions, that's different this year. But the teams that are at home um, in any tie break scenarios would be away goals. Those teams have already scored a good amount of goals. So for example, on Tuesday, the two games are at 4 p.m. and the favorites, Man City, currently lead the aggregate two goals to nil, and they're at home. So they already have two away goals. It sort of makes that, let's call it like a, a two and a half goal lead, if you will, which is quite a lot, especially for a team as talented as Man City. Meanwhile, the other fixture, Real Madrid, again, uber talented. Not that Atalanta's not. They're having a great season, but Real Madrid is up 1-0. Now, 
of course, if Atalanta gets an early goal, that's tied 1-1. And if they were to end up winning 2-1 on Tuesday, they would have 2-1 on aggregate away goals despite the um, the, the two legs being tied 2-2. So there is some drama there, um, but Real Madrid's a really good team, and that's going to be a tough comeback for Atalanta. So we'll see what happens. That's one of the better matchups in the Champions, League, the Champions League this week, so you may want to take time to tune into that on Tuesday. Again, it's hard to, to give up work time because we all know what's coming later in the week with NCAA March Madness and all of those games starting at noon um, and distracting us from getting the job done. There's all those studies online about the work hours lost during this time of year. So anyway, we're all going to enjoy it. It's going to happen. We might as well embrace it. On Wednesday... March 17th, more Champions League action. Bayern Munich at four o'clock host Lazio. That one is four to one. Bayern has uh, absolutely been dominant in this tournament um, for you know the past so many years. So that's a steep climb for Lazio. And Chelsea, this one I like as well. Chelsea, you know what? I take back what I said about these uh, these games not being quite as excited. I'm excited for Chelsea because I really believe in Atletico Madrid. Obviously, as an American, I'm hoping that Pulisic gets to start for Chelsea. But that is 1-0. Chelsea's at home, so they've got the away goal. Similar to what I outlined for Atlanta Real Madrid, um, there is some drama to be had there, especially if Atletico gets the, the first goal on that one. All of a sudden, the drama is going to be ramped up to 12 out of 10. Um, later at 7 p.m. on the ice, Bruins Penguins, Bucks 76ers on the court, and at 9.30, Clippers Mavericks. I'll highlight the NBA action because that is a TNT doubleheader. I talk about that all the time. I just love the TNT broadcast, and whenever I can catch it as a doubleheader, it's certainly something that I get excited for, so I may tune into that. Um, on Thursday, um, things get really, really hectic and really early. Um, I hate to say it, um, and I don't know how I'm going to juggle it. Um, I'm going to have to have a work screen with probably some uh, budgeting Excel documents plus, what, two other screens because um, at 1.55, Arsenal host Olympiacos. They're up three to one um, going into the second leg of that Europa League tie. Now there's four total fixtures at that time. Um, so, you know, that's something that I'll probably be watching. Actually, as I look closer at the schedule, I won't have to have two. Well, I'll have one work monitor and one Europa League monitor. Um, later, the second set of Europa League matchups on, uh, on Thursday is at 4 o'clock. And that's when Man United um, travels to, again, travels to because it's sort of a neutral site, but they're technically the away team, AC Milan. And I've highlighted that as the top um, match up for this this round that's currently 1-1 on aggregate heading into the second leg so at 155 and at four you've got four Europa League matches to choose from they're all going to be on Paramount Plus which was previously the CBS All Access and where um, things start to get a, a little bit hectic is at 5 p.m. the first of the first four games they call them in the NCAA tournament so remember they expanded from 64 to 68 it tips off on Thursday with first four matchups again based on when I'm recording this everything's still to be determined the seedings haven't been announced but there is going to be a first four game on true TV at 4 p.m. there's going to be another one at 5 p.m. Um, sorry the first one, again, a little bit rough being off-site, limited resources. The first four uh, game is at 5 p.m. on True TV. The second one is at 6.20 on TBS. The third one is at 8.30 on True TV. And then the final one is at 9.50 on TBS. And we all know the way these things work. The 950 game always be ends up being the best one. Um, so, you know, right when you're sort of worn out from basketball and it really tests your metal to stay up late, that's when it over delivers. Um, 
it's a good game, but it's really in a tough spot because there is a great NBA game. The Hornets travel to the Lakers. LaMelo Ball's been unbelievable. Not sure if anybody saw that. Let's call it 360 spin around three pointer that's getting all the run on ESPN highlights. But at 10:30 on NBA TV, the Hornets do travel to the Lakers. The Lakers Lakers have a really intriguing schedule this week. They're gonna pop up a lot, um, and I may. Um, Hold back just a little bit so I don't run them along with this video. But the Lakers are going to pop up a lot on my website in terms of a recommendation. Again, www.themoderndodo.com. The full schedule's there. Friday, all day March Madness. The games start at noon. This is when we get into like the stuff we're all used to, where it's like four games starting, whatever it is, 10 or 15 minutes apart starting at noon, and then a second set that, you know, starts at whatever it is, you know, two o'clock, and then there's a little bit of a break and it resumes at seven and at nine. So all day March Madness on Friday, it's gonna be that rotation of channels, and I'll be updating my website as well as using my social media channels to pump out that information for you. Um, also worth noting, but I just don't know how they're gonna compete. You're gonna have it as a backup binge watch streaming option. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the release day is technically Friday on Disney Plus. So WandaVision got a ton of run and a ton of acclaim. I would assume the Falcon and the Winter Soldiers actually are also gonna be excellent, I should say. So you may wanna check that out. Um, again, I try to do my service and just put a lot of little things out there outside of sports that um, may be interesting to my, my audience, as limited as it may be. On Saturday, more March Madness, of course. There's going to be um, a smattering uh, of soccer action, um, if you want to take that on. But at 8.15, to get everything started, I did want to note that the FA Cup returns. Those games are always on ESPN. Southampton at Bournemouth is going to be your 8.15 matchup. Um, there's a really good one at 1.30, but again, it's falling right into that March Madness juggernaut. It's in a tough spot. Man City at Everton, a 1.30 FA Cup tie um, on ESPN. Once we get into Sunday, more March Madness, of course. Those games start at noon. It's gonna be another all day thing. I can't elaborate because I don't have the matchups yet, but Sunday outside of March Madness is gonna be an absolute packed day. So at 9.30 a.m., Sheffield United at Chelsea FA Cup. At 11 a.m., back in the Premier League, both of these teams are out of the FA Cup, so it's a Premier League fixture at 11 a.m. Arsenal West Ham. Traditionally, everybody would take it for granted. Okay, Arsenal, um, you know, they're competing for Champions League spots. They're actually going to be competing uh, for Europa League uh, points in the standings, while West Ham is the one that's right there in the Champions League uh, bubble, if you will, um, in terms of the Premier League table. At one o'clock, a real good matchup at the top of the Premier League table. Man U, or sorry, this is an FA Cup fixture. So Man United at Leicester. Again, one o'clock FA Cup. And again, of course, FA Cup is exclusive to ESPN Plus. So check it out there. We've got some really interesting stuff going on in the afternoon. And again, I do realize that it's going to be competing with March Madness. So I'll leave it to my website and social channels. But um, Napoli, Roma, a uh, Serie A at 345. Panthers at Lightning on the NHL ice at 4 o'clock. PSG Lyon, that's Ligue 1 at 4 o'clock. And then Lakers Suns at 10 p.m. on Sunday. So, uh, of course, it is March Madness. That's what we're all going to be excited about. It's going to monopolize our week ahead. I'm sorry that I can't do better with my, my schedule in terms of when it allows me to shoot and publish my weekly website posts. I just can't fit it into to my Sunday, and I want to watch some sports TV myself. I'm traveling for work, so it makes things difficult. So I did the best that I could. I found a spot where I could tie some beautiful scenery in behind me. So stay safe in whatever you choose to watch next week. Enjoy your week. Take care.